do is we'll go to effectsapps.com, we'll log in, and we're always going to start by hitting this little blue pencil here. That takes us into the back office of effectsapps.com. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and click on features so that we can add a new feature to our app. So what we're going to talk about today is how to add the discount feature, which is a coupon to your app. So right here it says discount if you're looking for it and you don't see it, you can simply in the search engine here where it says add pages, there is a search engine right here. We're going to type in discount and it'll come right up. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the app. Now that the feature has been added to the app, I like to rename it coupon. And then you can even change the icon. This is OK. It looks like a tag. So now that we've added the name of our feature and the icon of our feature, let's go ahead and add a coupon. So we're going to start by clicking on this little blue button here. It's going to allow us to add a coupon. So what I normally like to add for every app that I do just to get them started is a five dollars off your first haircut so get five dollars off your first haircut when you download our app then it says the conditions here many times people will put things like must be a first-time customer so for instance if you do a coupon that is for a, a birthday get a free haircut on your birthday you can put a condition that says must show ID if you do a coupon that says um, college students get a discount on haircuts you can say in the condition section here you can say must show college ID with that you can also check off use only once now I really like this because this is basically saying the person can only use the coupon one time so for instance if you have get five dollars off your haircut you may want to make sure that this is checked off if you have it that college students can get fifteen dollars off on Tuesdays you can put a condition that says must show student ID and only available on Tuesdays and then here you can uncheck this which means that they can use it every Tuesday when they come in so for right now I'm going to click use only once and then you can also click end at this is also very powerful because you're saying that I have this let's say it's a Father's Day or a Valentine's Day coupon or Thanksgiving everyone's coming to get their hair cut you can end it at a particular time so we can go to August 23rd or go all the way out to September 26 and this coupon will then disappear on its own from the app so that people have up until then to use it or you can check off unlimited so that this five dollar coupon will never leave the app but they must be a one-time customer and they'll only be able to use it once now that we set up our coupon we'll just go ahead and hit OK now this is how the coupon is going to appear on the app when you have more than one coupon you can set a list of coupons here so you can say get five dollars off my haircut you can also list get a free haircut on your birthday or college students get a discount and there'll be a list of them here but if you only have one coupon what I like to do is go to the design section and there's different ways you can display your coupons so if you have more than one it's good to list them here or you can put them side by side or side by side and here layout four is really nice too if you have about three to four coupons but if you only have one coupon I normally will go with layout number five and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment here so there it goes 
So what it does, it fills up the screen with something that looks like a card. Now that I have created my coupon, as you can see here, it's not actually registering on the app. So again, I want to show you how you can make sure that everything that you're doing is being saved. What I like to do is just refresh the page by going to application and then going back to features. And what that's going to do is going to set up the coupon and make sure that it's on the app. And there you go. You can now see that the coupon was added. What you're also going to recognize here, you also notice that it says my account. The my account button is automatically going to be added to the app once you add something where someone needs an account in order to take advantage of that feature. Contact us page, people do not need to have an account with the app in order to engage with these pages. But in order to take advantage of a coupon or a loyalty card or the invite a friend feature, there are several different features that force you to create an account with the app. So as you'll see here, in order to redeem this coupon, I need to click here and it's gonna ask me to create an account. And then as a customer, I would go ahead and create my account. Once I create my account, I'll be able to take advantage of whatever offerings you have for me. And that's why the My Account uh, button is automatically added to the app.